This club's been been involved in since 1877, over 140 years, something like that. You know, it's been here forever, you know, way beyond us and it'll be here way after us. It's a heartbeat, it's an anchor in the town. It has a great history and a great heritage. I think, you know, let's be really frank, this, this club has had, uh, before Football Ventures, had a, had a troublesome decade. The terrible situation that this football club had found itself in it made me gravitate towards the club because I wanted to help. Every football club is the heartbeat of every community and when the football club is functioning well, the rest of the town seems you know, really vibrant. It, it lifts everybody's moods and spirits. Being able to rescue, repair, and now renew Bolton Wanderers has been a fantastic journey for, for everybody. I feel it's a different club to what it was one, two years ago, and certainly three or four years ago. The town as a whole and the club stand side by side each other. I think that what we have achieved over the last four years is a relationship with the community in this town. And I want the community to be engaged and brought in and excited by what we're doing. I think we've reached a level of financial maturity where I feel confident that we can ask for the trust of investors in our fan base and beyond who are happy to provide capital to support the club in terms of its continued progression. It's a retail bond which will be in the marketplace for supporters and any investors. Uh, it's a five-year bond. Um, Entry-level ticket is £500 um, and that can go upwards as, as high as, as any individual wants to invest. There's a full repayment at the end of the five-year term um, there will be an annual uh, interest payment of 8.5%, which is a really attractive proposition. Uh, there's also an opportunity for the conversion of, of ISA. Very simply, we want to get to the championship and stabilise the club there. That is the vision in a nutshell. Winning football matches and being a competitive, highly performing football team is our core business and everything has to, has to support that. There's investment in the pitches at Lost Stock. We do have issues with drainage and with the quality of our pitches, so funding is required there. The second piece is the infrastructure. So we want to enhance the, the fan experience here. So that involves continually looking at our fan zone, looking at our kiosks, looking at our concourses. And there are a number of other projects in and around the stadium uh, that we're looking at. Some things that fans don't always see, the connectivity motorway in, in the stadium, we need to replace that. So whenever we have issues around Wi-Fi or, or connectivity, it's attributed to that motorway and that needs replacing. And that is a significant infrastructure spend this summer. We're also recognising that um, people want to feel connected. They're happy to make an attractive financial investment, particularly in an organisation that they love and that they feel now that they can trust. I love this journey. I love where we're going. I love winning. I want more. I want to progress further up the pyramid. Any football club doesn't exist without a fan base and without the supporters. And we are just custodians. What we've done is, is we want to leave it in a much better and stronger place. A big part of this journey is I want to work with people, help people, work in the community, do good and make a difference. I want them to be looking, you know, excited about the end of this season. The day that we had at Wembley was just unbelievable, magical, will stay with me forever and, and for thousands and thousands of other people. But I want everyone to always be looking forward, looking ahead in anticipation, excitement. We sit here today very humbled with the success we've had, but also very hungry for more.